Hi there. This is the routine weekly traffic light update for the week ended on February 10th, 2017. Prior to going to the detail of the presentation, here are the disclaimer. Traffic light and capital appreciation point are the results of proprietary risk analysis model and should be used as a part of your due diligence process. Crystal clear indicator is not a licensed financial advisor. Investing involves risks. Here's the presentation agenda. We'll review the latest traffic lights, the long-term indicator on S&P 500, the intermediate indicator on Dow Jones and NASDAQ composite. We'll be looking for bearish and bullish formations. Traffic light S&P 500 is a long-term indicator. Here's the overview at the end of February 10th, 2017. The full range of data is shown for this episode because it is the second time in history the traffic light reached the bottom. Last time was in about 1995. Right now it reached all the, all the way at the bottom. Let's go over the legend. X axis here it represents the time. The oldest period is on the left. The latest period is on the right. Y axis is the daily close of S&P 500. The blue line represents the daily close of S&P 500. The green line is the traffic light, S&P 500. The horizontal purple and the red line applies only to traffic light, S&P 500, the green line. The red line is the long-term conservative line. When the green line cross above the red line successfully, it is better to take a long-term conservative position. The purple line is a long-term threshold. When the green line cross above the purple line and cross below the purple line, cross up and cross below, it is less risky to take a large position. Traffic light S&P 500 is showing less long-term risk because the light has been descending to the green at the bottom level. Monitoring still required in 2000 period it took us several try for the green line to breach the red line successfully. The traffic light Dow and traffic light Nasdaq should also reveal whether the crossing of the red line here is genuine. I will detail that in a later slide. Let's look at traffic light Dow, an intermediate indicator. This indicator has a good history showing intermediate bullish and bearish signal, especially when the red line and the green line crossover or showing divergence. Let's go over the legends. The blue line is the, represents the daily close of Dow Jones. The red dash line represents the money flowing into the Dow Jones. The green line represents the, the bright green line, solid green line, represent the money flowing out of Dow Jones. Orange solid and orange dash are the support point for the red dash line and the green line. The bright red line here and the purple line reflect the traffic light and S&P 500 in 2008 major correction event. The bright red line represents when traffic light S&P 500 cross above its red line. And the purple line here represents when traffic light S&P 500 cross before, below the purple line. Before traffic light S&P crossed above the red line, as you can see right here, before it cross, traffic light Dow already have a bearish crossover, meaning that the green line crossed above the red line. After the traffic light S&P crossed below the purple line, the traffic light Dow confirms a bullish crossover when the red line crossed above the green line. Let's go talk about divergence. This happens when that the index and the, the red line goes into opposite direction, as shown in the 2011 events, and also uh, recent events in 2016 correction. As the index goes up, the red line does not, and the green line creeps up, that forms a divergent because index cannot continue to go up unless the money flows in. 
And same thing, reason, I will show you in detail in the zoom in slide, how can we use that information. Let's continue the topic on the bearish divergence. As you can see in the this year's example, I mean, two years ago example, as the index try to climb up, the red line does not, but the green line cross creep up very rapidly. And whether they cross over or close to cross over, you can see that that's before the correction started. And you can actually uh, take the conservative position when that happened. And when do you go back in? That's when the red line start descend, ascending, forming a higher high and had a bullish crossover. Those are the good signs that you can enter a bullish position. And right now, uh, there are some bearish and bullish view on the bearish line side a bearish divergent could be forming because as the index move up the money flowing is actually going in the opposite direction but the bearish tone is more real materialistic if the green line creases up but so far the green line is descending and on the bullish side the green line continues to descend i would say cautiously that intermediate Bullish trade continues and pullback could be expected. We can see the similar thing in traffic like NASDAQ. As you can see, traffic like NASDAQ made a reason high. And this high was similar to back in 2010, this period, and 2013 period. In both events, there were correction of follow afterwards. But so far, it has not. I will zoom in the mention period in the next slide. In both situations, an index start to descend when the red line start to flat out or change it or descending. The bullish trend restarted after the cap on S&P 500 occur or the red line start to ascend. In 2010 period, S&P 500 cap happened. There's one day two, one day 18, one day four. If you desire to know about the S&P 500 cap, you have the privilege to access starter A service for free during the trial period. Here's a room in view of traffic light in NASDAQ. Here are some bullish and bearish observations. On the bullish side, the red line made a new high, while the index also made a new high. Second, it seems that red line is finding support and changing direction, continue to its ascent. On the bearish side, the red line start, the green line start to bounce off from the support. Summary for February 10th, traffic light S&P 500 is in green and show more long-term bullish sign. Traffic light Dow and NASDAQ show some intermediate bullish sign. Traffic light Dow and NASDAQ descending red line are pausing prior to the support level and start to ascend. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please email me.